Hey, Talo Falava. This is Leah Tawa, Dr. John Peterson, and I am with TE2 Edge Sports Cards. You are watching the TE2 Consulting, TE2 Edge Sports Cards YouTube channel. Uh, thanks for tuning in, and uh, thanks to everyone who's been sticking with the videos. I've been trying to put together content and put videos out at least one per day, if not more than one per day. Um, Weather-wise, we're doing pretty good here. I know I, I always do a quick little weather update here for the Twin Cities. Uh, I was in the 80s today, so not too terribly hot. High humidity, um, but uh, overall not a bad day. Had some clear blue skies, which was nice. I didn't get out quite uh, quite a bit. Uh, I, had a, I had a lot of work to do today, and oh, it was busy. Meeting after meeting, so. But it's fun to be able to do some cards at the end of a day, and I sure do appreciate folks checking things out. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Um, and yeah, definitely come check out the content. I think you'll enjoy it. So I finally finished going through and ripping all 10 boxes of the 1992 Fleer Ultra baseball cards. Uh, the last couple of videos I've been talking about that. I've been ripping a lot of wax lately. Junk wax, of course. As part of the Junk Wax Chronicles uh, series that I've been doing. Uh, so for those of you that are junk wax addicts, hopefully you've been enjoying that. Um, I figured what I would do is, uh, one, share with you the results of the hits that I pulled out from that junk wax 92 Ultra uh, Baseball Stuff Series 2, of course. Um, so I'd show you some of the hits from that and give you a sense of what the insertion rate looked like for the 10 boxes. Um, and then I thought what I would do is, is share with you a little bit about what I've got going on for auction on eBay right now. I've got some raw cards. And then I wanted to show you um, a little bit and talk a little bit about this Clemente, this 1960 Clemente that I just posted uh, up on eBay yesterday. I listed it for $300 and it sold um, pretty much immediately. So um, I had some good success with that. Um, I think I could also maybe talk just a little bit about some of the 1988 McDon 1986 excuse me, McDonald's football cards that I had graded through PSA. Um, won't spend a ton of time on that, but just share a little bit about that. So, But hey, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, leave me a comment. Um, first off, let's take a look at my slabs, which I like to show folks. This is my slabs if you're not familiar. You can go down and search here. You can go to browse cards. You can look for slab cards. If you log in, you can go to your inventory and tracked items. Up here you have for sale, not for sale, and then your tracked items. I like this because you can filter it for most views. It, gets a, give you, it gives you a sense as a seller what, what um, people are viewing at the highest level. Um, so this is really good data to get because when you triangulate the, mo the most views data with the most likes data, you can start to get a sense of what might be worth putting up onto eBay as a listing or as an auction. So when you look at this, I'm seeing uh, Ken Griffey Jr., I'm seeing the Jackie Robinson, which I'm really not in a hurry to sell, but when I go down here, it looks like this Ken Griffey Jr. 96 Metal Universe has a decent amount of likes and a decent amount of views. So it's got 25 views and one like. So this might be a card that I might want to consider putting up on eBay um, next. Uh, so what I do is I keep my My Slabs tab open and then I have my eBay tab right there. And then I have, um, let me zoom in a little bit here, it's kind of hard to see. Jeez Louise. There we go. I can see a little bit easier. It gives you an idea of what I've sold for my 90 day total. Um, of course that goes down or up depending on how much you sell within those 90 days looking back. Um, yeah, I got a number of different things on here. Some stuff's been relisted, some stuff's been taken off. Some prices have been dropped. This 59 tops Clemente. I dropped the price from 250 to 200 just today. Um, see if anyone wants to bite on that. Nice card. Now off center top to bottom, but definitely something somebody might want. So anyway, that's a little bit about the my slabs and the eBay piece. 
Uh, looking at some of the cards that I was able to pick up um, through the 92 Ultra 10 boxes that I got. So picked up these three Griffies. I would say one of the three has the best chance of becoming a Gem Mint 10. These other two, unfortunately, have a little bit of card loss on them uh, from them sticking. So I don't know how I'm going to do on those. Um, but I'd like to say that I could get this back in a Gem Mint 10, um, whether it's CSG or PSA. And I think I currently have a 10 in this card on my My Slabs page for 200 bucks, 175 bucks. Got those. Uh, picked up these Frank Thomas All Star cards. I think these resell around 100 bucks at a 10. Was able to hit on three of the bonds. Did really well on Sanders. Picked up four of the Sanders. These uh, have recent sales, and there are not a lot of recent sales of 10s. Of these cards so it makes me think that there aren't a whole lot of tens that are currently in the market 150 for each of those is a 10. I uh, picked up three of the Ripkins those are a little bit less like 30 bucks a couple puckets uh, three of these Tettletons I probably won't get those graded uh, a couple of the McDowell's won't get those graded uh, the cones may, might get the cones graded because he's a Met, um, so there might be a bigger market for those. I uh, picked up three of the strawberries. Reselling those is pretty decent. Picked up three Alamars. Reselling those is pretty good, around ninety bucks, hundred bucks. Um, two Glavins. the rest of these um, got a little shine there a little little uh, uh, little bright three Larkins probably won't get the Larkins graded three Sheffields two Clarks three of the Pagnazis two Sandbergs uh, Roberto Kelly singleton on the bogs and then a singleton on the mcguire so all together i was able to pick up let's just count these Put this into the frame uh, one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. So in 10 boxes, I picked up 50 of these All-Stars. Now, one box had zero All-Stars, and another box had nine, and another box had nine. So um, that's I thought that was interesting data. Um, overall, you're looking at anywhere from four yeah four and a quarter four and a half five per box if you want to average it out um you know depending on the box you might hit three might hit seven just kind of depends so the real question will be what's the gem rate look like on these so i'll probably send a few off to psa um i might do a group submitter like got baseball cards because they do a pretty nice job of um uh, screening your cards so we'll take a look maybe at that um, and then I might do a few for CSG to see how that goes um, but the the higher end stuff the Griffey the Bonds um, you know a couple of the higher value cards the Deion Sanders I'm probably going to send a few of those to PSA and see what I get back um, another thing another idea would be to get the entire set graded and then try and market uh, for a resale the entire set and see how that goes. I bet there probably aren't a whole lot of people that have those as a complete set. In terms of Series 2 for the 92 Flare Ultra, there really isn't a whole lot else out there with the exception of the Lofton. 
all rookie. You can see that. Four in ten boxes. So that's a pretty that's a pretty low insertion rate. Four in ten boxes. That's I mean, not even one every other box. So I'm guessing this card in a 10 has got some value to it. Um, especially if he makes the Hall of Fame. So I'm going to leave those aside. I probably won't get them graded right now. but And then the other card was this Pat Mahomes all-rookie card. Five and ten boxes. So again, one one of these for every, um, for every other box. Which really is, <laughs> when you think about it, it's pretty, excuse me, it's pretty, a uh, pretty low rate. Um, you're not going to not going to see a lot of these graded as a 10 when you have only one uh, available for every other box, unless somebody's stockpiling these cards. So anyway, that's what I got for the 92 Fleer Ultra. I'm pleased. Uh, like I said, I was in for $270 for those cards, plus the shipping. Um, 10 boxes. I've got tons of Hall of Famers um, set aside. And uh, like I said, all it takes is a couple of those cards to gem, resell them, and I've made my money back and had a lot of fun ripping the wax. So that's that piece. Um, let's take a look at some of the stuff that I currently have selling on eBay, some of the raw vintage. World Series batting foes, 57 tops. 58 Sport Magazine Hank Aaron. 59 Sporting News All-Star, Willie Mays. This card actually sold, but the person hasn't paid yet, so we're going to set that one aside. We've got a 1964 Mantle. It's a nice copy. I think we're on day 6 or 7 of the 10-day auction. Currently at about 120 bucks. Got a 61 Tops Bob Gibson, third-year card. 55 tops, Ed Matthews. 57 all-star, Hank Aaron. This is a sweet looking card. 59 Barra. Man, that card is centered pretty well. Top to bottom a little bit, left to right a little bit, but overall, pretty clean card. He won three MVPs, by the way. A 56 Aaron, tops. A little soft on the corners, but overall, pretty well centered. A 58 Mantle. This card is, I think we're up to 280, 290 for the for the auction on this one. Still have about five, six days left, so that's good. A 58 Clemente. And a 55 Second Year Aaron. So check me out on eBay, RJP2532, or you can search TE2. And you'll be able to find the auctioned items up there along with some listed items too. What else do we have up there on eBay? Well, we've got a 59 Clemente in a PSA 5. Um, nice card, sharp on the corners. Top to bottom, obviously, is the issue with the centering, but otherwise, beautiful looking card. Also have a 61 Clemente. This one's a little bit more expensive. It's a PSA 6. I think I have this listed for 350 or best offer. Um, this one's pretty sharp. Uh, left to right centering isn't the greatest. Top to bottom a little bit of an issue. But overall, a nice, nice copy and a nice, I think, solid 6 of this card. Uh, I believe I've got a 1985. Oh, I think I've already sold this one. This is an example of something that I sold. It's a 1985 Tops Warren Moon, near Mint 7. So this actually sold yesterday, so I'm not going to be able to, to list that. Um, let me show you kind of how I do my slabs. You might be interested in seeing that. So they've got all my supplies, all my different stuff here, but this is how I keep my slabs. And I keep them in the order of the grade. So it starts with the lowest number here. It goes up. These are six and a halfs. And then we have a second box here. These start with the. Oops, just flipped around. I don't know what happened with that. All 
All right, so we've got eights, uh, nines. This was all the nines. And then in this box here, we have, if I can get this down there a little bit better, we've got nine and a halfs all the way back to pristine. So that's how I organize my slabs. I keep them really close so that when I want to ship them out because they're sold, I can quickly find them. Um, so that's that. I thought I would show you this card. Oops. This is a 1960 Tops Roberto Clemente. Nice copy. It's in a five. Sold this earlier today for 300 on eBay. I think I had it listed for maybe less than 24 hours and it sold. So what I'll do is I'll put this in uh, some card shields, the old tried and true card shields. Here's an example, put it in like this. Tape all four sides, put a rubber band around it, and then get it shipped out. So pretty slick process. I don't do a ton of volume, so I don't really get bogged down too much by the shipping and the listings and all that sort of thing. Last thing I wanted to show folks is something that's pretty cool. This is a, a 1986 Tops, excuse me, 1986 McDonald's Walter Payton All-Stars Green. Um, I've got a number of these slabbed up. I've got some nines, got some eights, got some sevens. Haven't been able to get any tens back, but looking forward to trying to get a couple tens. If you're interested in any of these, just holler at me and let me know. These are pretty rare cards uh, to come back in high grade, eight, nine, and 10. And I've been tracking their their sales on, on eBay and, and the prices of these cards continue to go up. Pretty rare. So uh, definitely check these out if you get a chance. Um, other than that, I'm trying to think what else. Yeah, it's kind of an interesting time. Uh, we've got the National coming up in the next couple of weeks. People are talking about it being maybe a little slower uh, event this year, partly because of the cost of travel, partly because of the somewhat of a dip that's going on right now in cards. But then also, too, it's in Atlantic City. So um, not the easiest place to get in and out of. Um, but I've heard people say that, you know, the whole week is going to cost anywhere from $1,500 to $2,000. So that's quite a bit when you think about it. If it were in Chicago, I would just drive down from the Twin Cities and stay with my sister or get a relatively cheap place to stay, but that's not going to be an option for Atlantic City. So, All right, well, hope you, hopefully everyone is doing well out there. Hopefully you're having a blessed day, and uh, appreciate you watching the video. Peace out. One love.